With the UFC record of 13 wins and 3 losses, Blades has beaten just about every big name in a heavyweight division and has been ranked among the top 5 for many years now. Even though he failed in two title elimination bouts against Nganu in 2018 and Lewis in 2021, he is now on a mission to earn another one with three dominant wins in less than a year against top-tier opponents in Rosenstruik, Daukaus, and Aspinall. What Blades brings to the table are the best wrestling skills in the heavyweight division, and once he gets the offense going, it's really hard to stop him from imposing his will inside the cage. As UFC fans have seen thus far, the only proven way to beat Blades is by catching him with a power shot as Lewis and Nganu did, but the other ones were not so lucky. He is securing six takedowns per three-round fight with an accuracy of 53%, and his ability to relentlessly chain wrestle his opponents to the ground is second to none. During his rise, Blade solely relied on his exceptional grappling skills to dominate his opponents, and although this one-dimensional approach brought him a ton of success, the lack of striking and predictability is a direct cause of his two losses in title elimination bouts. To prevent this from happening ever again, Blades went back to the drawing board, and in his last three bouts he showcased significant improvements in his striking footwork and setting up his wrestling attacks. The Razor is coming into this match not as a wrestler, but a well-rounded fighter. Still it is unlikely that we are going to see him trading shots with Pavlovich, especially when you consider that the Russian's wrestling defense hasn't been tested much in the UFC with Blades being more than happy to expose it. Although Pavlovich clearly lacks the media spotlight and is not the most promoted fighter on the roster, he has already established himself as a potential heavyweight title contender a long time ago. The UFC definitely did him wrong by matching him against Alistair Overeem in his UFC debut back in 2018, in a fight in which Pavlovich couldn't showcase his full potential. However, he bounced back in a spectacular fashion by winning five fights in a row, all by KO-TKO stoppage within the first round, out of which the last two were against top contenders Derek Lewis and Tai Tuivasa. Fighting out of Eagles MMA in Moscow, Pavlovich is a mountain of a man and probably physically the most intimidating heavyweight to set a foot in a cage since Brock Lesnar. Standing 6 feet 3 inches tall and carrying a reach of 84 inches, the Russian has the highest apex index of plus 9.0 out of all other fighters on the UFC roster, which combined with the insane power in both of his hands makes him a terrifying individual. Inside the cage, Pavlovich primarily relies on his exceptional timing, long-range punches, and the ability to shut anyone's lights with a single touch. This gives him the confidence to always move forward, and in some cases even risk getting blasted with a full-blown shot just to land one. Throughout around 8 minutes of total UFC fight time thus far, he showcased good wrestling defense but his grappling hasn't been tested much. Overall this is a typical striking versus grappling matchup, after which the winner almost certainly receives a shot at the title. Although he will be undersized, Blades will be more than happy to test Pavlovich's grappling defense and give his best not to get caught as he did in his previous two title elimination bouts. Also, the Russian hasn't seen the second round since 2017, and we might see Blades coming out aggressively to put on a high pace and force the Russian to work hard early. Pavlovich, on the other hand, enjoys a big advantage in power, reach, and boxing skills, and if he manages to keep the fight on the feet, he will be looking to put Blades out within the first five minutes.